In today's video, I'm going to be doing a really quick demo on how to calculate panel impact ratio with a snow foam. So some companies will use this instead of giving you a straightforward dilution ratio on the back, for example, with the built hamber auto foam and touchless. So the very first thing you need to do is fill up your foam cannon with water and you'll get the easiest numbers to work with if you just fill it up to that one litre mark. So for this demo here, I'm just going to be using a Karch K4 and an MJJC foam cannon pro version 2, which is a very popular combo. So if you do have this set up, you don't have to do the calculations yourself. Just keep in mind though that sometimes the flow rates can vary a little bit between individual pressure washers, depending on how well they're actually operating. So once that foam cannon is filled up with that one litre of water, it's just a case of dispensing it until the foam cannon is empty. And you're going to need to measure the volume of water that it dispenses. So I usually just do this into a bucket. Obviously, if it has graduations on the side showing the measurements, that's great. Otherwise, you may need to tip it out into a beaker and measure it out that way. Alternatively, you can actually weigh the bucket before and after you've dispensed the foam cannon into it. The reason the weight works as well is because one mill of water weighs one gram. So whatever weight you're getting in grams will just equate to that milliliter of water. So you can work it out that way too. So in this example here, the foam cannon dispensed 10.4 liters of water. So if I wanted, for example, to work out a 2% panel impact ratio, all I would need to do is multiply that 10.4 by 0.02 to get that 2% of the total volume that I dispensed. Equally, if you're trying to work out a 4% PIR, for example, you'd do 10.4 times 0.04. So in this example, that 2% of the 10.4 litres works out as 0.2 litres or 200 mil. So the amount of snow foam you'd actually need to add to the foam cannon would be 200 mil of snow foam. And then you just top it up to the one litre mark with that 800 mil of water. And then out the end of that foam cannon, you'd be getting a 2% panel impact ratio. The reason some brands like to use this panel impact ratio instead of just giving a flat out dilution ratio on the back it is because it is more accurate and different combinations of foam cannons and pressure washers can actually result in very different results here. So for example I'm testing this again here with an MTM PF22 foam cannon and again this is connected up to a Karch K4. So when I filled the foam cannon up to that one litre mark it actually dispensed 18 litres of water here so way more than the Karcher did which was only 10.4. So in this example it would be 18 litres times 0.02 to get that 2% panel impact ratio. So in this case, I would need to add 360 ml of snow foam to the foam cannon and then top it up to the litre mark with 640 ml of water to get that same 2% panel impact ratio as before. So obviously this does sound like a lot of foam to be using. However, the MTM foam cannon dispenses the foam at a lot slower rate, hence the need for more foam in the cannon. So it's still offering the same value for money. You'll just need to refill the MJJC one a bit more often, whereas with the MTM, you need to add more foam to begin with. So to put this into a bit more perspective, if you did go with that 200ml of foam to 800ml of water, as with the MJJC, which works out as 2% panel impact, if you just followed that same dilution ratio and put it in the MTM foam cannon, you'd actually only be getting a panel impact ratio of 1.1% rather than 2% as you'd expect. So it is a good idea if you do ever get a new foam cannon or new pressure washer, it is a good idea just to run these calculations again as it only takes about 5 minutes and make sure you are using the right amounts. I will write out all my calculations in the description if you are trying to work out your own panel impact ratio and want to use these as a guide. If you have found the video helpful, it would be brilliant if you could drop it a like and thanks for watching.